Hello. One might wonder why we have such enormous regard for uh, Thomas Alva Edison. This guy behind me, he was a psychopath that electrocuted animals and uh, he tried to destroy one of the greatest minds in the world, that of Nikola Tesla. And the reason is, is because he was an American. And Nikola Tesla was a uh, Eastern European. Thomas Alva Edison kind of uh, embodied American pie, but he was a psychopath. He was a tinkerer. He did not invent the light bulb. This guy almost destroyed Nikola Tesla, promised him half a million dollars for fixing his DC generator system. And uh, Tesla wound up broke and was digging ditches in the streets of New York, all because of this psychopath behind me, Thomas Alva Edison, who almost destroyed the uh, heart and soul of one of the greatest inventors the world has ever seen. This man who, after learning about uh, Nikola Tesla's AC generator system, tried to destroy him once again after screwing him over out of a half million dollars that he promised Nikola Tesla by traveling around the country trying to uh, tell ignorant, stupid Americans that the AC generator system was inferior by electrocuting innocent animals, burning them alive. One of his most famous displays was electrocuting a gigantic circus elephant and the fumes and the flames that actually emanated from that uh, made uh, many of the crowd members uh, puke, uh, vomit. He traveled around the country electrocuting innocent animals all in order to destroy Nikola Tesla's AC generator system. Uh, Thomas Alva Edison did not invent the light bulb. He was the fourth in line to discover a perfect way by using carbonized filaments to perfect the light bulb. Nikola Tesla himself found a way around this, him and Westinghouse with his own invention. And ultimately, of course, we are left with the AC generator system that powers the entire world, not this idiot, this psychopath behind me, Thomas Alva Edison, who was a inventor by denotation, but was a psychopath, was a lunatic, executed and tortured innocent animals by electrocuting them with AC current, all to scare people into buying into his DC uh, electrical grid, which never could have worked. Long distance power transmission using DC power is not feasible. Well, actually it is slightly feasible, but it's insanely, insanely expensive, so. And here at the Winter States in Fort Myers, Florida, you will find nothing within the $20 that you have to pay, and I'm not gonna pay it, I was here many, many years ago. You will find nothing about the truth of this man behind me who was a lunatic. Um, he went deaf and he lost his own mind. He was just an addled, old, pathetic lunatic. But he was an American. And Nikola Tesla was a European immigrant. But far, far, far superior of an intellect. Obviously, that is the case. Now, the one thing that you'll notice is that people that are stupid will praise two people. Albert Einstein and this idiot behind me, Edison. Intelligent people will praise people like Nikola Tesla, Eric Dollar, they know who uh, C.P. Steinmetz is, Maxwell, Oliver Heaviside, the giants of electrical engineering that gave us our electrical grid, but not this person behind me, not Thomas Alva Edison, who was a lunatic, an animal torturer, and tried to destroy the career and the life and the heart and soul of Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest minds who ever lived. So, this is a beautiful winter estate built upon the misery of others and uh, him and Ford what's also not mentioned is that him and Ford this is the Edison slash Ford winter estate him and uh, Ford you know the founder of Ford automobiles uh, would actually come down here in the winter and they actually had an anti-semite um, Jew hate uh, newsletter now, Thomas Alva Edison contributed to Ford's writings and bemusings and his anti-Semitism. They were both rabid anti-Semites. So, not only did he torture animals and tried to destroy the career of Nikola Tesla, but he was also a rabid anti-Semite. Um, some other things could be gone into about this awful person behind me, but uh, I don't think I'd have enough time. Thank you for watching.